Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live, guys, the name of the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to show you guys how to test car battery. And we made a video yesterday, but uh, we realized we made a mistake. One of you left a comment, it wasn't a good video, so it's updated video that's more accurate. So stay with us and we'll demonstrate how to test your car battery and to know whether you need a new one or not. So, uh, check out guys, how to repair guys, we just hit 61,000 subscribers. Uh, parts are coming for that BMW that we are rebuilding from a car auction, so quite a few videos there. I think we have over 1100 videos on that Ford Fiesta, guys. It has original battery, it died the other day. We had the lights on, but I noticed that it's been a little bit weak lately. We haven't driven it so much. So, how you test it? We use that top down car battery tester, and just to show you on the back side, if even if it's international use, like if you're in Europe or England, you have the different. Uh, the different measuring units on the back so you can switch it and i'll show you how to do that here in the us we use cca which is code cranking amps so how you connect it just red to positive black to negative if you connect it the other way it doesn't work so it has pretty good protection i think don't try it but i test it just out of curiosity so now this is the device guys right here and i'm going to select okay let me show you quick the languages that it supports okay english and we'll select in vehicle test because the battery is in the vehicle okay and you can select before or after charge in order to be accurate test i'll i'll always uh, test it after charge because we made a mistake before so after charge uh, you need to charge it uh, overnight probably on 2 amps trico charge and after that okay we we'll select after charge regular flooded battery cca select unit and now you can see ours is code cranking amps 500 right here so if it's a different number you just change it up and down okay and now you're just testing it's doing its magic and you, it's going to tell us if we need a new battery or we don't. And as you can see, it says good battery. It says 515 amps, which is even a little bit more than what it's rated for. But I think the cold cranking amps is like at uh, 32 degrees. And right now, we guys, next time.